Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and uh, thank you for stopping by my channel. I um, have a little project that I wanted to do, and um, it's another Christmas thing, and I wasn't planning to do more Christmas, but you know, every time we finish with our uh, Christmas journals, or any of our journals actually, we always have these little pieces that are left. And so I received um, a happy mail of sorts from um, Kathy, uh, and included in that was um, a Christmas card. And so I opened it, I'm not gonna show you exactly what she said, but when I opened it, um, it had all these little pages in there. And I thought, what a cute idea. And I sent her an email and I told her I thought it was cute. And she said, oh my gosh, you really like what I made. But then the, back here is a, a place for a journal card. So I'm thinking, and she, and I asked her, did she recycle this card? And she said, no, she um, bought um, these cards at the Dollar Tree. So that made me think, if you were going to do that for you know, of friends and things like that, you would definitely want cards that you have envelopes to, um, like these. So these were a dollar at a yard sale. And um, I decided that I was gonna try and make one. So I hope you guys um, enjoy this. So what I did was I, um, actually this one has a scallop on it. So if you, you know, you could do this with recycled cards. That's what I was thinking because you could cover this and then still use this front, but she would be covering all the other stuff. Or you can like uh, Kathy did, she put some scalloped edges on, well, not this one, but on the one she sent me, has scalloped edges here. So, but these already came scalloped. So I just laid it onto this card stock. This is gonna be for the back. Um, I didn't set my timer. Well, uh, it's okay. I don't think it's going to take that long to do this. So let me just, I, um, finally finished my, um, for the love of reading journal, the commission journal for Linda. And I'm just waiting for her to respond to my message. And, uh, just to make sure she still wants it. You know, people change their mind especially as long as it took me to, to make it. But, um, and then I took, you know, a couple days off of filming because I just had to get stuff together. I don't know, I hope I'm cutting this right. Um, so I did, went to my mom's and we did a lot of Amazon shopping. She doesn't still quite get that, but and I, and I um, was able to get internet in her uh, little apartment because she has like a AT&T phone line. And evidently, because um, I took my iPad just thinking maybe I could use a hotspot or something. And so um, it said I, I you know, AT&T, but I needed a password. And I thought, huh. So I, I looked on the back of her little phone monitor thing that she got and there was a password and I put the password in and voila, we had internet. So we were able to do all that. So let's see, I just thought it would be better if I made it actually the shape. I'm gonna ink it a little, um, probably, I'm not gonna try to find another color. This is um, tattered something. What is it? I never can remember. It is gathered twigs. I don't know where I get tattered from. I'm thinking tattered twigs. And um, thank you for all your suggestions on the um, Hearth and Home journal. I'm sure that I'll, you know, be able to um, pick some things out from that those suggestions. Um, and then I'm hoping to maybe work on that a little bit tomorrow. Okay, so I think I have that backwards. Yep, 
So there we go. So I'm going to glue that. And leave this side open for the uh, journal card. Or, let's see. I think maybe we're supposed to leave this side open. Yeah, we're supposed to leave this side open. Okay. I just, um, you know, love it when people come up with these ideas. It's not my idea, that's for sure. But okay, it's kind of showing a little bit on that corner, but I'll ink it maybe. I know this is very dark, uh, white inside, but I think once I get all the little papers in it, it'll be fine. Okay, so there's that, and then this is open here, and we'll be able to put a, a tag in there. I don't know if she, yeah, she punched a divot. Oop, better let that dry. I should have done that before. I'm going to cut this off because it's just sticking out a little more than I want. Um, I only had one piece of cardstock left. Um, printed, you know, with the Christmas design. So, I don't know why I always, um, never get it just how I want it and have to trim. Okay, so we'll come back and we'll do that. So in the meantime, I'm going to put a pocket over here. So I have this I can use for a pocket. Um, I think I'm going to use that for something else. I have, oh, this one was too big, I think. I mean, I could have trimmed it off, but yeah, let's see, whatever pocket did I have? I guess that was it. Oh, these can be cut for a pocket. But this one's already cut, so let's use this. This is left over from the year before. This is uh, Artie Mays. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this on here. I feel so much better though today because, you know, I did get some shopping. We didn't get all of it done, but I got all the ones that are out of, out of town, out of the state you know, where it has to be shipped. Although there are, the things are probably already there. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got this little piece of paper here. And I've got this little piece that I cut. I guess I could ink that a little. This is school book pages. I think you can get these like at the, this is not vintage. You can get these at the dollar store, these little school books page, which are kind of cool. I've never tried to coffee dye these. I don't know. Um, I have some graph paper that I coffee dyed or tea dyed, whatever you, you choose to do. Um, and it, um, okay. Let me put, I'm going to put this little piece of music in that I had left. She didn't put as many pages as I'm going to put. You know me, I'm going to make it bigger. Um, let's see. And then I have this little... I was just going to put this in just like this. Okay, I have to fold that up after I sew it in. Yeah, I think that would work. And then they can read the whole story. Okay, so let me get this one in. And then, then I have this page. Um, I don't want, this has gotta be the center. So this one has some writing on it. Um, and I'm just gonna make a little pocket on that. Let 
just barely fits. I probably don't have anything to stick in here, but maybe you have to take a look. I didn't look that hard, but I thought, wouldn't this be cute for your Christmas, um, you know, to give away? Okay, so I got that, and well, that fits. So I've got that, I've got this one, it looks cute with that. These are all left over, and then I have these little kids. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of like the Santa one with it right now. I thought I'd use this for the journal card back here. It's kind of a big um, piece. I'm gonna make a divot still, but see that would fit as the journal card. It goes in a little too far, but I'm gonna put a, a thing on it. Okay, so let's just sew this in so I have it ready to go. See it. Oh darn it. Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter. Unless I go this way. That's fine there. That works. Okay. I was it was on the wrong side. So this little story in there. And So I hope everybody's getting all their stuff done. It's been, oops, I don't want to get that on there. It's, it's been a weird year. Um, okay, let me get a needle and thread. Here's some, a needle, and I'm just gonna use this embroidery thread, crochet thread, I don't, I'm not sure what it is. I don't have any um, floss or anything handy. I mean, it's already like 4.30 in the afternoon. And I had to go to one of the rental houses and um, okay, um, just, now uh, let's go to the middle. Kind of in the middle. I had to go to one of the rental houses and kind of do a diagram of the house because they may want to do some remodeling. They have it for sale, but it hasn't sold yet. And, okay, come on. Hold on. That's a little hard to push in. <laughs> there we go. Let me punch this side here while I have it out. Goodness, guys, come on. I'm not used to having this floppy paper. Okay, and down here. And then back up the middle again. Sure that that's all nice and good, and it is. I'm gonna tie this. I could try and put a bow in there, but I'm really bad at bows. 
they always go crooked. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so this gets folded up just like that. And that gets folded in like that. Look at how quick that was, really. I mean, we're pretty much, unless, you know, depending on how you embellish. Okay, so let me get. Get up. The drawers are falling apart. You know, if, it's funny because you, um, we're going to get that in there. Um. about investing in good quality things. Should have gotten a better, well, okay, we're gonna have to do it this way and hope that I can make it look right. Guess it's about the center. So I should have gotten a better little drawer thing here. Okay, let's ink around this. And it's all not really matching, you know, but it's, if you have a whole matching kit left, yeah, that would be great. Okay, so that goes in there. Got all kinds of glitter everywhere. Okay. Um, let me get a tab. Um, whoops, sorry, I hate reaching the front, but okay, I just need a little. Oh, there's the. No, that's not Christmas. I thought that was Christmas. Um, good if I looked at it. That was probably the best. There, that little pinkish, reddish color. Let me just check. Hmm. Diana sent me, oh, you know what? This green would look good. I think, because it's got this, a lot of green in there. These are ones that I received from Diane. Whoop. Oh, circles, too. And look at how cute. I wonder if I just want a little one like that. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm trying to think of anything else that's been going on, but not really. Oh, I know what's going on. I don't know. Maybe you guys have heard, and I'm sure the people who sell on Etsy, eBay, whatever, um, they're going to start reporting what we make. Well, if you make over $600 on Etsy or eBay or whatever, uh, 1099 so we have to uh, turn in a, what do you call it? Um, your social security number or whatever. And um, I, well, I don't get it, but I understand why, you know, the government wants to know how much we're making. Is that straight? Doesn't look straight. Um, but when you're a little hobby person like me, and it just means that I have to file um, that that 1099, I have to report, you know. So, I and I do make over 600. Well, I did last year um, on Etsy. 
Now, I and they said PayPal too, so I don't know. I just have to see what happens. It just And if you don't um, send in your social security number to uh, Etsy, they will close your account. And I don't know if they did that with eBay people or I don't, I just don't know. I think a lot of people are going to have to, you know, not do it or they'll stop making it. They'll stop making stuff. Oh, let's see. I was thinking maybe I could do something with this, but I don't know where. It's too big. I could put it on there. But then, you know, that makes very little room for writing. Because you could use this for a cute little Christmas journal just to keep track of um, so that's cute it doesn't have to have a lot this i have this little envelope left which i thought was really cute i don't know if i can get anything to fit in it I'm sorry. It's noisy. I apologize for that. So yeah, that's yeah, that's the only thing happening is the it's Etsy thing. I don't know. It just seems like everything is going fine and then all of a sudden, you know, it's the same with the uh, uh, YouTube and having to, you know, if you get monetized, you have to claim it on your taxes. But see, the thing is, if I had, if I made enough money, let's put it this way, if I don't make a lot of money because I'm on Social Security and I have a little income other places like when I work for the apartment you know for the manage the apartments and stuff or the houses and apartments I don't know which way it's supposed to go I think it's supposed to go the other way because I never can figure that out if somebody knows I wish they would let me know um but because my income is low enough, I don't have to file taxes because of my uh, Social Security and seniors, you know, uh, I don't make enough that I don't have to claim. I don't have to do taxes, period. I haven't done taxes in 10 years because I haven't made any money. But now if, of course, they report this, but I didn't used to make... Um, I wish I had something small stick in there. Hmm. It's like the last thing I have. I... Okay, let me see. Um, let me see if I can find like a ticket or something. I don't want to glue it on there and then not have any place to, nothing to put in it. Ticket. Trying to see where I'd, I'd rather have it. Not very Christmassy, but they fit. You know, we have like hundreds of tickets and stuff. I don't remember having any Christmas ones. Hmm. Nope. Mm, I just like this ticket. I think this is fine. Just pick it up a little bit. It's coffee dyed on the back. It's good. Yeah, 
now, so I'm, I haven't heard anybody say anything on other uh, YouTube uh, videos, so I don't know. Um, and you know, I get, an, it's funny that I opened that email because I get emails from Etsy, I mean, all day long. Oh, don't be doing that. You know, because they'll say, oh, there's, you know, this special or this is something you'd like or, you know, how they do. Unless I can tell that it's somebody purchased something or somebody's calling to or checking to get a answer from me about something. Okay. So... Let me put a couple of cards in this because we have it. And I'm, I'll get a piece of string and put up here. Did I ink that one? Did I... Let's see how much time I've already spent. Already got a hole punch. I mean, a whole spot. So, <sighs> it took me forever to clean up my desk. I mean, it's clean compared to what it was. I couldn't find anything. left. Let me just put some of this in there. I'm not going to put a, what do you call it? I'm going to pull it tight. Just a little something. So that's, that's it. This little book, little Christmas card book. Oh, there's another one to punch. Oh, what happened? this one in here too. That way I don't have to put these back. Well, I have to put some back, but if I have time, I'll use, I'll do some more with the kits that, you know, everything matches. Like the Joey card maker one I did. I still have quite a few of those little things left. I just cut that too short. Okie doke. All right. So, oh, I think I, I don't know. Those are kind of long <laughs> sticking out, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe I need to use like a skinny ribbon. Hmm. Oh well. Um, yeah, so I think that turned out really cute, you guys. So thank you so much, Kathy, for um, sending me. Um, well, thank you for your Christmas card. And I, you know, I've already talked to you about that, but um, the idea is awesome. And then, of course, we've got envelopes. Oh, I, I don't know if it'll fit. 
Let's see. And of course, you're gonna have to have more postage because you added weight to it. Oh, maybe, oh, good deal. There we go. There we go. So it's probably cost you double two stamps for this. But you don't have to put as much in as I did either. But, you know, this would be cute for the male person. In fact, I might even give this to the male person. My granddaughter says, you, you get a present for the male person? And I said, yeah, every year. And she goes, well, you don't have to. And I said, well, I don't have to. But I think she'll be disappointed if nothing comes out in the mail. But this is cute. Couldn't just anybody use this? I think they can. Okay, so that's it. So you guys have a great day, and I'll see you, I don't know about tomorrow, but the next time I'll be working on the Hearth and Home Journal and um, see where we go from there. Alrighty, bye guys.